Hello and welcome to our lesson for today. Today we are looking at the purpose of words and how they represent something. So let's get started. Materials. The only materials you'll need for this lesson is your thinking cap. So let's get our brains ready. We have three learning targets for our lesson today. The first target says, I can tell the word for an object or action I see. The second target says, I can say the names of other people and read their names. The third target says, I can listen to the story, a search for names. Okay, everyone, it's time to sing our ABC song, so sing along with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. These are the letters we used to read and write. Let's get to know them by sound and by sight. Nice job singing with me. Woodwork. Now, I am going to show you the picture of an object and I want you to tell me what the word is. Ready? Here's my first picture. What is this? It's a teapot, right? Here's my next picture. What is this? It's a door, right? Here's my next one. Right, it's clapping. Can you clap your hands? Here's my next one. Singing. Yes, just like we just sang our ABC song. And here's my last one. Right, heart. You got all of the words in my pictures. Nice work. We just said the words for many of the different objects we just saw. And if I wanted to tell you my name, I would say that my name is Rachel, and my name is a word. We all have names, and our names are words. What's your name? That's an awesome name. It is so nice to meet you. Read aloud. Thank you for sharing your name with me. That reminds me of a story that I would love to share with you. My story is called A Search for Names. Listen closely as I read through the story. A Search for Names. When the world began, every star sent a beam down to earth. Each star beam carried a secret and planted it wherever it landed, on every rock, tree, and animal, every river, lake, and ocean, every breeze and wind, every place where the light shined, and every place where the darkness concealed it. Jeffy was the oldest, wisest, and kindest man in the village. He lived in the hollowed out center of the giant tree in the center of the village. The tree was called the naming tree. One night, he was watching the silver moon rise and the moon called him out to the field. Spend the night in the field, Jeffy, and I will show you the secret of the stars. So, Jeffy lay down in the field, and the moon put him into a deep sleep. While he was sleeping, 
the stars all shined their secrets into his heart and mind. When he woke in the morning, he thought he had the most wonderful dream and ran back to his tree to draw all of the wonderful things he saw while he slept. He put the drawings in a large leather case. He couldn't wait to go out and find the secrets the stars had planted in all the things of the world. He thought he would begin with the animals. Wow, I can't wait to find out what happens next in our story. Thanks for listening. Share with someone at home all you learned about words and names today. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for all of the learning you did with me today and for all of the names that we learned. I hope you had a great time and I will see you next time. Bye.